Alma Manscott was just five when she was forced to attend the Fort Alexander Residential School. All the memories from over 50 years ago are just fresh today. Scott attended while Father Arthur Mosse worked there. She was a day student. What do you remember about this place from when the school stood? Stuff that I would rather not talk about in public. It's horrible what happened. Some of the things she saw and heard about still haunt her. I just feel like crying because I saw a little boy running from a nun and he jumped off the third floor and he didn't move again. One of the chilling things left on this site of the old residential school, these cellar holes. Survivors tell me children were put here when they misbehaved. I don't know why they left it there. I just, as soon as I saw it, I have memories to that. The school opened in 1905 and closed in 1970. It had a reputation for abuse. Former National Chief Phil Fontaine was one of the first people to publicly speak out about what he endured as a child. I'm just going to show you a photo. Do you recognize this man? Yes. Yeah, it's Father Messi. Marilyn Crochane was only six or seven when she met him. All of a sudden, I could feel my neck being touched, like skin to skin. You know what I'm saying? Like this. Crochane says she's looking forward to seeing him in court next month. It'll be a good step to move forward and say, finally, I don't have to hold this inside and just write it on paper, right? Because it's bad. You know, it's a tough thing that a child had to wait this darn long. The survivor involved in the charge against Massey has not been identified. She was only 10 at the time. She needs to be heard. I'm hoping her story is going to come out and she's going to get the, ju the justice that she's asking for. So, Karen, a big day in this investigation that has been years in the making. Yes, a decade in the making, actually, and it was a big investigation. 80 investigators contacted more than 700 people and got 75 witness and victim statements. So you might ask, why only one charge? Well, police told us that many of the victims couldn't participate because of mental or physical health. Others had passed away and couldn't get involved. Now, I have to tell you, we did contact uh, Father Massé and asked him about this. He confirmed he has been charged, but didn't want to comment. Ian? All right, Karen, thank you. You're welcome.